Hey everybody, did you know you can go to colinmullen.com in order to get art and art prints? So why is that up the website? colinmullen.com So hey everybody, this uh, week I was working on my game again. Um, I think that's going to be, like I said, more or less my, my project for the next little bit. And when I was uh, working on it this week, I, I hung out with Morning Chai. Uh, Morning Chai on, on Twitch. Um, Morning without a G. Uh, anyway, good good people. Go check out their art. They do good stuff. They're working on a game, too. They've been working on it for a while. It should be coming out soon, I think. Anyway. But, yeah. So, as far as the game, what I'm working on, I, I mostly worked on this bridge. Because this part is probably going to be, like, the, the most annoying as far as, like... The, the graphics are going to go for the rest of the game because what essentially needs to happen is I need to make sure that the parallax layers line up for the river as it recedes to the back and I was like well how do other games do that and they basically they don't uh, because if they do uh, it's hard and it turns out that that is actually a very good reason not to do it this way so I shouldn't be doing this this way but I am because I really liked the idea of this aesthetic when it was playing through my head so that's what we're doing so I had to try and make it actually work Suffice to say, because this is so difficult, a lot of what is going to actually make it come together and actually look good is going to be all the extra details on the uh, the sides rather than the river itself. Uh, a lot of it ended up being hidden behind random trees and stuff, as be, uh, suggested by Raylor and Chad, who correctly pointed that one out. I think what I've realized that's very exciting about making my own game is that, you know, when you make your own game, you you get to decide what's in it. And very rarely do people make games by themselves. They're, you know, rare. Uh, someone in chat earlier was is pointing out that uh, Concerned Ape is a, uh, a Spider's George situation. This is not someone that you should treat as a, uh, a regular occasion. Most people do get help. Most people are not solo devs. Most people who do solo dev stuff are eccentric and kind of weird and there's something wrong with them uh which is why i'm doing it but um probably why i shouldn't be doing it in, in the same breath but regardless this is giving me a chance to finally like put my money where my mouth is like if i i say that you know xyz games should be like this or that i think that it is you know it, it could be better like thing xyz thing could be better and i think it's been my beef with games like you know, Alan Wake and uh, Fallen New Vegas that were like everything about the premise and everything about like the gameplay and everything about it says, hey, this is something that you should like. And then I'm like, but I don't though. It's not quite right. And I think in Fallen New Vegas's case, it's mostly because of just the conditions that AAA companies put their, their uh, employees through. But regardless, what I'm trying to say is uh, I am excited to be able to make my own game in my own way. And uh, hopefully more and more people will do that and we can have a sort of uh, gaming renaissance uh, where, you know, we can just skip any sort of crash and just have uh, a renaissance of good indie games that help float the, the community through the hard times of incredibly weird AI stuff and um, cash shops and loot boxes and all that that are in AAA games. I think that a lot of these AAA games are being developed by very talented uh, artists, either, you know, programmers that, you know, turn uh, code into a thing that actually works and plays the way that it's intended to, which is, I believe, an art, especially now having messed around with it. Um, I, I think that the difference between mixing colors and mixing the use of arrays and if else statements don't don't at me, people who like uh, code, I, I don't know what I'm talking about. You guys like Vim and it's scary. Anyway, I'm encouraged with the way that art is going and the way the game development is going and I'm hoping that you guys are enjoying these small little updates and um, I need to thank the people at uh, the $5 tier or more that are uh, helping out by just making this possible that I can actually do this kind of stuff. So thank you to the people at the $5 tier or more. You get access to the Discord as well as thank you in the end credits. That's what these wonderful people did, starting with my mom and dad. Thank you. I love you. Thank you, Wabfu. Thank you, Tofoundor. Thank you, Split. Thank you, Sophia Nope. Thank you, Skelicorgi. Thank you, Reverend Joe. Thank you, Retrograin. Thank you, Pig Wrestler. Ah, ow. Sharp claws, Abby. Abby, calm down. Thank you, Nick. Thank you, Mortis. Thank you, Michael Carr. 
Thank you, Micah. Thank you, Mario Pereira. Thank you, Kayla Hollinger. Thank you, Josepher. Thank you, Gabriel Bennett. Thank you, Freak Wannabe. Thank you, Egg. Thank you, Chiptune Glitch. Thank you, Bep. Thank you, Amber. Thank you, Aggie Raggy. And thank you, Ants. Got a, a cat in my lap who is currently trying to remove my skin through the jeans. Um, but regardless, thank you guys uh, for watching, and I will see you uh, in a couple weeks with more updates about my game. <laughs>